Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector with another action figure review. And here we have the Marvel Legends uh, T'Challa Star-Lord What If series uh, figure. So let's go over to packaging. So first you get the Marvel Legends logo here on top. What If logo, T'Challa Star-Lord. Here is the side art of T'Challa Star-Lord. Here is the back with the description. Marvel Legends logo there in the corner. Here we will be building Uatu. And then the figures that come with it, we already went through Zombie, Captain America. And then now we're doing T'Challa Star-Lord. And then uh, Cap uh, Captain Carter, Zombie Hunter Spidey, uh, Supreme Doctor Strange, Nebula, and Sylvie. Here's the other side art. And then here is the top with the Watchers logo. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here is T'Challa Starlord out of the package. So let's go over the accessories first. So first we get Uatu's head, which we'll go over once we build them. We'll go all the way back there. And then we got two of these blasters, which we've seen before. It's just a different color scheme. These came with the, uh, with Star-Lord's uh, figures. Uh, it's just a repaint with the gold nozzle there with some purple on the barrels. Uh, and then the same gray there with some gold in the back. And you get two of those, for one for each hand. And then you get extra head sculpt here with his helmeted form with the purple eyes and then the gold... Um, detailing around the helmet and the gas mask area the nose area and then around the eyes and then you get like the matte black there you get the hair popping out of there so nice head sculpt and then that's all we got for accessories so here is t'challa star lord here so they really captured the animation look with this figure um so yeah this is his figure it looks awesome uh so you get this nice black hair there you get his beard and then you get the eyes there it looks really good and i like how this style kind of matches well with like how uh uh chadwick uh looked in the animation style it looked pretty close to looking like him and they kind of captured that in this figure which looks great and then you get the uh, jacket here, which is a separate piece. Um, so yeah, you get the gold there around the shoulders, and then the zipper, and then some in the inner part there of the jacket, and then more buttons there. And then you get the sleeves here with some gold detail in there. You get some padding around the shoulders. Looks great. And then you get the gray pants, gray shirt there, not a whole lot of detailing there. One thing that they're missing here is that T'Challa was wearing his Black Panther necklace in that episode. So that would have been a cool detail to add in there. Have him wear his Black Panther necklace that activated the, um, the Wakandan ship. And then you get the gray pants there with some gold detailing there around the hips. And then you get the brown shin guards there with these fins nice sculpts around it here's the back and then you get some more gray de detailing there uh you get some gray on the four the front of the foot and then around the treads of the boots and then all the joints are pinless jointed which is nice elbows and knees are pinless uh that's all uh, for all we got for the looks, so let's go over the articulation. So he has a double ball jointed head, so he can look up that far, he can look down that far, he can look left and right. So a lot of head pivoting in there. Shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that go that far. Wrists can hinge down that far. Up that far, 360 rotation there. He has a ball joint at the diaphragm. So, oh wait, never mind. It's an ab crunch. Never mind. It looked weird for a second. It looks it looks like a diaphragm joint, but then I crunched it down. I heard it click. So ab crunch, not a diaphragm joint. And then backwards, not that much because the jacket gets in the way. He has a waist swivel here. 360 rotation around there. Legs kick, kick out that far. Forward, that far. This is a pretty tall figure, by the way. Uh, backwards, not a whole lot. Thigh cut, double jointed knees there. And then ankle skins down that far, up that far. This is the problem that I have because it, it's hard to pose them and have them stand up. And plus this, these ankles are not really secure. They're kind of loose, which I don't like a lot. 
which worries me because they could just snap pretty easily. But yeah, there's like that notch there and it doesn't let you move up further than that, which sucks. So I wish they could have figured something out. And then plus this front foot area here doesn't give you a whole lot of mobility forward. So yeah, you can't really do much about that, but you can move down that far and a nice angle put it. So yeah, that's T'Challa Star-Lord for you. He is an awesome looking figure. I just wish they could have done better with the ankle joints. And then just, a, it's not a big deal, but it would have been cool to add in that uh, Wakandan necklace, that Black Panther necklace to him since he had that in the episode. But the style matches well with the animation style of this figure or in the uh, show and matches well with this figure. And the color palette on this figure is awesome. Sculpt is good. Um, the only problem that I really have is that ankle thing. They're pretty much not sturdy and they don't want to move up. So it makes it hard to pose them around. So you kind of got to balance him well. So if I push him forward that much, he'll fall down backwards. Otherwise you got to get him in a weird stance where he's doing like the penguin walk or something like that. But then you also got to spread his legs a little bit. So I'll probably, this is really the only pose that I could get him into at the moment. Um, I really wish they could have done a little bit of a better job with that ankle. Um, so that's a little disappointing. Uh, but uh, that's all I really got for T'Challa Starlord. He's an awesome looking figure. Just the ankles make it hard to make him stand up. Um, so maybe I can do something to make him look like he's using his jetpacks on his feet or something like that and have him fly up or something like that once I get a display for a what if wave or something like that uh so yeah that's all I got so uh make sure you guys check out my link tree in the description uh, it has my twitter twitch instagram and facebook uh but besides that that's all I got so thanks for watching